facendo le, le processioni anche al Vomero qua per, contro i comunisti. E processioni religiose? Sì, religiose. E parlavano male dei comunisti prima. Ti curdi che il prete dove abito io, alla zona dove abito io, eh, il parco che sta là, nel, nel lunedì di Pasqua, in quel periodo, andava a, a benedire le case, a casa mia non ci veniva. Eravamo conosciuti in questo senso, eravamo gente, come gente che teneva male. In Washington, George Marshall, the Secretary of State, warned of the spread of communism and offered a plan to combat it, the Marshall Plan. But there's no doubt whatever in my mind that if we decide to do this thing, we can do it successfully. And there's also no doubt in my mind that the whole world hangs in the balance. A few months before the general elections, the first Marshall Plan goods arrived in Italy. At the same time, America actively entered the political arena, encouraging people to move away from the popular front. Italian Americans were encouraged to write to their relatives abroad, uh, even to send money to their relatives abroad. Again, always reminding them that they had better choose the right way uh, come, uh, come election day. There were templates that were provided in, in some of the major American newspapers, again, uh, encouraging uh, Italo Americans to, uh, to, com to compose such, such letters and send them off to, uh, to their relatives. Thousands of such letters were sent, many of them copied verbatim from the suggested samples printed in American newspapers. The Italian-American letters arrived wrapped with dollars and gifts, and the friendship trains and ships full of American goods and produce arrived in Naples stations and harbors. Noi cambiavamo parole perché non avevamo da dare nulla, eh, se non qualche piccola iniziativa assistenziale, mentre che invece la democrazia cristiana si appoggiò alla grande democrazia americana la quale intervenne massicciamente appunto inviando questi pacchi d'ono, questo, questo piano Marshall. The Marshall Plan is paying off, in halting the march of communism and restoring the freedom and prosperity of Western Europe and preserving peace in the world. But as the elections got closer, America intensified its political activity. In 1947, a new organization had been formed, the CIA. Its first mission, its first test, was covertly to influence the Italian elections. Ten million dollars were secretly transferred to Italian bank accounts for use in funding the non-communist political parties. E che ruolo ha giocato l'America in quelle elezioni? che ci ho aggiorato l'America eh. sono venute fuori le notizie delle navi cariche di armi che costeggiavano i nostri lidi in attesa di sbarcare insieme con agenti del servizio segreto italiano in caso di vittoria dei comunisti sono venute fuori sono venuti fuori i finanziamenti che hanno dato a tutte quante le forze non non comuniste. With the whole world as his audience, the Italian elector goes to the polls. For weeks past, every hoarding in the country has appealed to his operatic instincts. His choice is now quite simple, Toscanini or Tchaikovsky. At the outset, he was a trifle baffled. A dozen prima donnas urged his support, each for a different party. Six to the left chanting the vulgar boat song, and six to the right singing the Stars and Stripes forever. Three nations turn anxious eyes to Italy, knowing that only victory by Premier de Gasperi's party of Christian Democrats can stem totalitarian advance. Pensavamo di vincere le elezioni. Non si va in una battaglia sperando di perdere. The result was a Christian Democrat victory. They took 48.5% of the vote and the popular front of socialists and communists 31%. But maybe the church and the United States needn't have worried. Maybe the Christian Democrats were always going to win in a Catholic and mainly quite conservative country. And maybe the CIA could have just stayed at home. Non ci fu truffa. Il popolo scelse. Scelse liberamente. 
il 18 aprile il popolo italiano scese tra un mondo dominato dalla Russia, dall'Unione Sovietica, e un mondo dominato dai principi occidentali, democratici occidentali, scelse l'Occidente. Punto. This meeting of the assembly symbolizes the abandonment by the United States of a policy of isolation. I think the American national security establishment was elated with the response, convinced that they had played a decisive role, uh, not to what extent the CIA influence really was decisive is, is impossible to tell, of course, but this was really the first test for uh, the national security um, uh, operation in the United States, the first major test of the, of the post-war period uh, and of the early Cold War, and Italy really became kind of the testing ground uh, and a model because apparently in, in subsequent years, the Italian elections of 48 served as a model for uh, how covert operations could be used uh, in, uh, in other countries.